Our other breaking news, President Trump stopped in Charlotte tonight. Air Force One expected to touch down at Charlotte Douglas International in a little over an hour. From there, he will head to Bojangles Coliseum, where he will make a campaign pitch for Republican Mark Harris, who's in a razor-tight congressional race with Democrat Dan McCready. Hundreds braving the cold, rainy weather for hours to get inside the arena. Lines started forming last night and have just grown throughout the day. We have live team coverage now at 5 from the crowds to the traffic. So let's start with Rad Berkey live inside Bojangles Coliseum. Rad, some high stakes for tonight's campaign stop. Well, you know, people have been streaming here into the Coliseum since four o'clock this afternoon. Some of them, as you said, having waited here through much of the night, all for the chance to see and hear President Trump in person. President Trump making his closing arguments days before one of the most contested House races in the country. It's so important for each of you, each one, to get out and vote. Get out and vote. Republican Mark Harris. This is a direction election if we're going to continue in the direction with the policies that have been laid out and that this Congress and this president have uh, have moved us forward with. Versus Democrat Dan McCready. We're talking about putting country before party. We're talking about the need for a new generation of leaders to get to Washington who believe that we're all in this together. We have a chance to turn our country around. It's a toss-up race that will determine the balance of power in Congress. If you're a Republican, you better start paying more attention to what Republican women want. If you're a Democrat, you better pay attention to what the Democratic women want. It's also one of the most expensive House races in the country, after Harris upset incumbent Robert Pittenger in the May primary. Millions of dollars in big party names started funneling into District 9. I think it could be a red wave. I tell you what, really, I think it should be a red wave. McCready continues to outraise and outspend Harris, but Harris is hoping Trump and his party power will mean the difference between a win and a loss come November 6th. Now, coming up at 6 o'clock, we will have more on the Trump visit here to Charlotte and why this race is so important. Reporting live at Bojangles Coliseum, Red Berkey, NBC Charlotte. Okay.